Although I know that this video won't get too many clicks, I really, really want to do this video because I think that videos which are no longer available and um, which are kind of vintage, although they are not in the vintage age, are something really special. And I'm really pleased to do this video, or actually these are two videos and this is the first part of videos from Ickler, the brands Limes and Archimedes, which are no longer available. Hello and welcome to Watch Maxi's Watch Videos. My name is Axel and I'm glad to have you on the show. This is the first part of my vintage special from the Ikla watches from the brands Limes and Archimede. All the watches I show are no longer available new from the producer from Ikla and each of the watch is special in at least one kind and I'm so glad to be able to present them to you. And before we start, I have to say um, kudos to Ickler because I had from a, a co-collector, from a collector friend, the watches, um, except the one which is my own, um, to be able to make this movie, this, uh, um, this take of the watches. And I just had the watches, no additional information. So I took photos of the watches, sent them to Ickler, and Ickler was able, uh, based on the photos I took, to deliver me the information which I can add to the video today, which I really do appreciate. So many thanks in particular to Lisa Ickler and they spent a couple of hours to collect the data and I don't think this would have been done by any brand and any company. So many, many thanks at this point. The first two watches I'm going to present do look pretty similar, although they are from two different brands, one from Limes, one from Archimede. Both are named Vintage, Limes Vintage, Archimede Vintage. And from the dial, they do look pretty similar. However, in detail, they are pretty different. So I'm really glad to show you these two watches and I hope you enjoy them as much as I did. Well, the Archimede Vintage is a really nice watch and one of the most obvious things is the green colored Arabic numbers and hands. The watch is nicely made, has a very, very easy to use crown, a look through case back and is really, really reasonably sized, not too thick. It is empowered by an ETA 2824 movement. And let's see what the measures of the watch are. Well, my tool is made from plastic, so I can't scratch the watch. And it can see the diameter is about 41.5 millimeter. And the lug to lug span is just about 49.5 millimeter. Um, you may already have seen that the watch is not too thick. The overall thickness of the watch is 9.5, 9.6 millimeter. On the front, we do have a sapphire crystal and on the back, we have a screw down bag with a look through case bag with a mineral crystal. The watch has a water resistance of 50 meter. And what I also do like a lot is the railway road like um, minutes really really nicely done a handy crown and a really reasonably sized watch well, the sibling of the archimede is the limes vintage it looks pretty similar with the same font type the green arabic numbers the greenish hands, however, it's a completely different watch while the Archimede had a white dial. Here we've got a silver dial. We have a coin edged top ring and a polished case back with six screws. Front and back are both made of sapphire crystal. The watch has a water resistance of 50 meter and has screwed bars. So it's a different watch which appears to be similar from a first glance but it clearly is different in detail. The diameter of that watch is less, it's about 
37.538 millimeter and the lug to lug span is just about 46 is it correct um, it's more towards 47 47 millimeter so nicely sized as a dress watch and the thickness of the watch is just below 10 millimeter really nicely made here we've also got the railway road minutes you can see the nicely made coin etched bezel and the vintage look of the arabic numbers a great watch which i really do like a lot Let's have a look at the two watches side by side. You can clearly see the Limes is the smaller one and the Archimede is the wider one. The side view shows um, Archimede more on the sportier side and Limes is the more classy watch, which is confirmed by the view to the back side as well. Both watches are great watches of high quality the side view just confirms the Limes, and the classier one, Archimede, the sportier one. If I had the choice, I would go for the Limes just because of the better font type. The third watch I'm going to present is a watch which, among us, I can say that probably wouldn't wear. But I think it is a piece of the watchmaking history, so uh, I'm happy to present it. It's the Limes Opera automatic it's a gold plated case a bead color dial with a guillotte dial it's a water resistance of 50 meter the limes opera is a really really classy watch with roman numbers as indices a day date complication in a split version a coin edged side a really nicely made crown and an undecorated movement. The movement is um, the ETA 2834 with a split day date complication. A nice watch. Uh, the hands just perfectly fit into the overall appearance with the classy Roman numbers. And the size is the size of a vintage dress watch. Um, fitting perfectly under a sleeve and a cuff with uh, 36, uh, 36.5 millimeter in diameter and a lug to lug span of, is it really true? Can it be 40.5 millimeter? I may have made a mistake here, but the measure says 45 and thickness is just above 10. 10.5 millimeter thick. A really nicely made watch and having a closer look you may see that there is a B color appearance in the date win window and the outer ring around the guillotte face of the dial has a golden tone so here you can see the B color, the gold and silver appearance of the dial. It's a nice classy watch, but it's definitely not on my list. But whoever likes this kind of watches has a great option here. The fourth watch I'm going to present today is another Limes. It's the Limes Integral. It's a rectangular watch, rectangular watch and um, I like it a lot. It's a little bit different from the usual watches. Um, the movement is an ETA 2824 in the decorated version. Um, 
The watch has a water resistance of 50 meter. On the front, we have a sapphire crystal as well as on the back. A really, really nice watch and a little bit different from what you usually see. The dial, and that's what uh, Eckler sent to me, is named in German Wilde Reiter, which literally translates into Wild Rider. I have no clue why this dial was named that way, but I thought it's funny to share it with you. The original price of the watch was around 800, 825 euro, give or take, depending on the year when the watch was sold. So this is just an indication of the original price of that watch. The Limes Integral is a watch which really stands out of the um, usual watches, both in terms of the dial design and the case shape and how the case is made. Even the case back with the beautifully decorated movement and the different angles and shapes of the back with the brushed and polished um, parts. I really like it. Let's have a look at the date of the watch. Um, due to the case shape it's not so simple but the diameter is about 33, 33.5 millimeter and the length of the watch, it's not the lug to lug span, is 37 millimeter so uh, reasonably sized men's watch and the thickness is, uh, let me see if I can get it done, yeah, the thickness is just about 9 millimeter, 9.2, 9.3. So a really nice and slim watch which perfectly fits under a long sleeve or a cuff. So beautifully made, I love the decorated movement and I have still no clue why the dial is named Wild Rider, Wilde Reiter. Now let's have a look at some close-up shots. You can see the brushed sides and the polished angles and the polished parts. Really nicely made. That's a watch which I would clearly wear in an office and for more casual situations. The fifth and last watch in my today's vintage special presentation is the Archimede Rally automatic watch. It's empowered by an ETA 2824, has water resistance of 50 meter. On the front we have a sapphire crystal and the back is a steel back with six screws. The case is polished stainless steel and for me this watch really is a modern watch which doesn't look outdated or vintage or old in any way for me. The Archimede Rally Automatic is a watch which is on the smaller side and given the appearance with the overall polished design is the watch which really closes the gap between a sporty watch and a really... Hey, that's me. How you doing? Uh, which really closes the gap between a sporty watch and a, a sports dresser, to put it this way. Um, I think it's still a modern watch and it would perfectly fit into today's portfolio with very, very few modifications only. Let's have a look at the size. The diameter is 39 millimeter, really nicely sized nicely sized and the lug to lug span is uh, 44 
44.5, 44.6, so uh, perfectly made for smaller wrists. The thickness of the watch, let's have a look, the thickness is just below 10 millimeter, 9.6, 9.7, so a watch which is not too thick for many occasions. The red second hand gives a nice tone, the hands and the markers are with luminescent color and the close-up shot confirms it's a sporty and still modern watch. The crown is not assigned, fits into the crown guards. Six screws on the back beautifully polished, nice watch. Well, this was the first part of my Limes Vintage Special. If you like this video, if you like this kind of videos, subscribe to my channel, recommend my channel and look forward to the second part. So do I. Cheers, Axel.